He is heavy. He's my brother. It's Tom and Luke Stoltman. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, morning, morning. morning. You two are already fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, look at you. So happy, aren't they? Yeah. They got the strong man beard, they got the strong man look, they got the strong man sisters, and the strong man younger brother. <laughs> Tell us good morning, guys. Morning, morning. Morning, Luke, morning, Tom. Uh so Luke, you're the eldest child. I am, yes. Thirty nine. Yeah. Thirty nine. Tom, yes. you're twenty nine. Twenty nine, yep, that's okay. right. Okay. Uh are you have you both won world's strongest man? Not yet, no. I'm yeah. st- I'm still hoping to win that. All um, right, have you? I've won you... it the last two years, yeah. Congratulations. So, Congratulations. How do you feel about your little kid brother beating you as the world's strongest man? Very proud, you know. It's it's. Um, don't even know Tom's story. Tom got diagnosed with autism when yeah. he was younger, so for him to come forward and do this amazing thing, win world's strongest man, not once but twice, yeah. is. Yeah, it's, it makes me very, very proud. Um, so it's it's very nice. I know it looks on everything, and Tom, not to take away from the fact he you are you have been the world's strongest man twice, but he does look stronger than you, Tom. <laughs> I mean, he looks stronger, but he also looks older, did not he? He does look older. I mean, that's the thing. I am older. I'm ten years you older. You are ten him. <laughs> so just tell us about the rest of the fam before we move on. Yeah, so there's five siblings in our family. I'm the oldest. We've got uh, two sisters, Jody and Nikki. Um, Jody's normal size, I would say. <laughs> Nikki's quite a tall, tall girl. And then we've got a younger brother, Harry, who's 28 years old, and he's about six foot five. Right. So, um, and you're saying he's bigger than you now? He's Tom. just about bigger than me now. So. And does he? Is, I mean, is this the family business? Is strength the family business? Yeah, I mean, yeah. So. Harry used to work offshore and we took him and we opened a business ourselves and now Harry is the kind of merchandise manager so he controls all the merchandise, myself and Luke obviously run it and then yeah it's a family business close to our hearts and uh, Harry is getting too big for his boots for well. hopefully he doesn't take over me in the straw man, he can keep on doing his jobs. And I mean could on. he have a go, Is he? could he be a contender? Yeah I mean yeah he's already done I think, have you heard of the Scottish, the Denny Stones? Yes. Uh, so you know, we went down to a, a gathering and he picked them up like feathers and that's when we were like oh. Honestly. That was amazing. Yeah. He's yeah, coming was, together. All three of us picked them up together so it was quite a special moment there as well. But You was... look incredible, I mean incredible. Um, so t- tell us about the, your genes and the DNA. Yeah, so um, our grandfather was Polish, um, grandmother was German um, on our dad's side. So we, right. on dad's side, they're, the cousins of dad are all six foot six, six foot seven. Right. Very big, you know, German, Polish men. Wow. Um, and probably women as well, I'd imagine. Uh, and then on mum's side, mum was, mum passed away 2016. But her, her family, our cousins are all kind of six foot three, six foot four plus. Right. Um, so there's a lot of tall people. Um, well, tall's fun. one thing, but also statue. I mean, you like mountains, guys, aren't you? <laughs> uh, training can do so much, but it dep- you know, we all start with a different size, different thickness of canvas, don't we? Mm. Um, how much of it is is uh, gene and environment, and how much of it is nurture and nature? What do you think, Tom? Yeah, I mean, I think you know, I think you know, when I started the gym at 16 years old, I was kind of. Uh, naturally taller and stronger than you know my friends and yeah. a lot of people that have been going to the gym for a year but I think it's also hard work as well obviously you know when I stepped into the gym although I was a bigger guy I could only lift a 20k bar I could hardly even pick up 30 40 kilograms so yeah I think but then as I progressed within four or five months I rapidly you know got stronger well, there's some hope in there I sort of <laughs> sensed a glimmer of hope for the rest of us there not much to be honest um and so you so as as the first born yeah um, you were on your own for how long? Um, so I was on my own for a year, and then we had the young, my younger sister, Jodie. All right, okay. She came along, um, and then it was Nikki, and then 10 years later, this big, gigantic... Swipper snapper over here. Yeah. And so, so as far as as far as the strength is concerned, is it was a similar journey for you, or were you more naturally strong than Tom? I was I was quite naturally strong when I was younger. You know, I, I was. I remember when I was, you know, being a young boy, trying to pick up cars and do, you know, <laughs> trying to... <laughs> You know, Not just, toy cars, yeah, no, real so, cars. Yeah, real change cars. Change tyre and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and my, our granddad, he was a really strong man as you well. You know, as a kid, just trying to pick up cars. <laughs> as you do, uh, getting That's in trouble. That's hilarious. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think strength came quite... Not easily, it was like a lot of work. Yeah. But um, I think with our granddad, he worked a lot in the garden, so he mm. used to pick up these big sleepers, you know, like railway sleepers. Your arms, look at the way you do that. I just feel safe when you do that. <laughs> Wait till he cuddles you. Oh, I, what yeah. about you cuddling each other? <laughs> Jeez. But you sound strong. I mean, I can see, I suppose, so I don't know if it's... But I'm imagining on the radio, do they sound strong? Can you text us? Do these guys sound strong? Uh, 87222, start your 
takes with the word virgin. Mm. All right, so the gym. Let's talk about the gym. Um, who doesn't want to be a member of your gym? Uh, me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, the pressure's on, isn't it, if you two guys are running the gym? It's in Invergordon, your gym. Yes, that's right, yeah. Uh, 110 members-ish. Yep. Room for any more? Uh, yeah, always room for more. Um, we're expanding. Um, hopefully, in a couple of years' time, we'll have a big facility. That's what we would really right. like to have um, that encompasses strongman, bodybuilding, CrossFit, Highland Games, you know, all the strength yeah. sports in one, because obviously the Highland Games are very traditional in Scotland, yeah. but they're on a bit of a... They've been on a bit of a decline. I know, I heard that. Which is a bit of a shame, so... And also, seriously, it's a bit of a shame, but it's only a temporary problem, because that is an easy fix. Mm. Listen, if you can make F1 exciting when nothing happens, Highland <laughs> Games should be rocking, man, <laughs> shouldn't they? Yeah, you know, hopefully. Yeah. I, all you need to get is the, you've got to get the right programme, the right format, you know, maybe, you know, dare I say, bring it down south for a bit to, just to fire it up again in Scotland. Mm. You know, if you can make, you know, golf... <laughs> come on I mean I love golf yeah, don't yeah. get me wrong but come on it is dull mm. you know and loads of people watch it don't they the, the, the Highland Games what what do you think should happen with Highland Games how would you fix the Highland Games if you're in charge of I think we need to take it more to the youngsters you know to the in, in schools certainly in Scotland you know it's a great sport it's very it's not too taxing on your body as well so it's very technical and if you had sort of a mini caber and everything mini that's mm. fun isn't it yeah, kids love all that anyway yes, definitely yeah. definitely you create that competition environment for kids yeah and then it's like every thursday we're going to do highland games yeah. and, you know just keep building it up building it up and then from a, a competitive point of view you know mm. that competition grows and you're taking that into your kind of your teenage yeah. years and so on so well strongest nine-year-old there we go <laughs> Why not? Uh, yeah, that would be nice. Well, That'd, sure be be That'd be all right, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but I, I hope it does. Hope it does kind of come up. And if we can try and, you know, take that uh, increase of popularity back to Island Games. It's, that'd but be it's awesome. all about marketing, isn't it? Marketing mm. messaging format, right format, you know, right event, I suppose. Um, yeah. Have you competed in Highland Games, Tom? Uh, I mean, we've done a few kind of videos with some Highland Game guys, and man, it's. So much different than strong one. It's all technique. I mean, I tried to toss the cable and it just went up and came back down and they hit me on the head. Because different discipline. Uh, yeah, I mean, the kind of same thing as the weight for height. That's kind of the same as straw man, but yes, yeah, Highland Games is so much more technical and so much more technique. skilled. And it's you don't really uh, like you don't really kind of see it until you actually do it yourself and you're like, well, oh, these guys are not just strong but skilled in what they do as well. Because amazing, isn't obviously it? Obviously, I thought lifting a tree and put, tossing it. But you know easy, what, what they've done with uh, Squid Games now, the new game show, mm. and uh, with the hundred on uh, Netflix. You know, it's just a, it's just clever people in telly getting it right. Yeah, I think, 100%. I suppose, mm. I don't know, but that's what that's what I think. Um, so amazing, so so fascinating. You've been YouTubing it right up with these boys, haven't you? Yes, yeah, so I was watching hours. some of your YouTube videos. I was mainly interested in what you have for breakfast. Mm. <laughs> So there was some massive. Pa I think one of you said you get like a free free choice on your pancakes, yeah, yeah. and you mentioned ice cream, cream donuts, <laughs> all of the fruit. Can you eat what you want? Um, I mean, and on off season when we're not got competitions, we're strict. We are strict as we can. But then, like a week before a competition, yeah, we can kind of eat the burgers, the nice food, the fast foods, the pastas, the ice creams, because we need a lot of calories to help us compete. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a nice. Uh, what do you feed a mountain? Yeah, and and morning, people are obsessed with morning rituals. What what is other than your food? What is your morning ritual like? What's I, I do a lot of cold water swims every morning. I go into the sea. Um, I like to. We, we're very lucky that we live on the coast in Invergordon. Is it beautiful? It's lovely. Yeah, so I, I get to see a sunrise. That's uh, for my mental side of things. You know, for yeah, my yeah, reset cool. to reconnect with mum as well. That's I get when I see a sunrise. We've got tattoos on, on our arms. It's like sunflowers. That's what mum was to us. So when I see a sunrise, I get to see mum every day. I get to reconnect with yeah. her. Um, plus then the cold, you know what the cold does for you. You know, it allows you to reset, takes care of inflammation. It gives you that focus, that hit of dopamine for the day. And you're just absolutely buzzing. Yo! Sounded like two guys who may have spent some time with Wim Hof all of a sudden. <laughs> Would that be right? Yeah, that's, that's correct. Was, yeah. Uh, very, he's a... Uh, you know, a very, very, very cool guy. I think, uh, you know, for someone that's 64 years old, I get really, you know, in the cold water, I like it, but I'm not very into, you know, too much of it all. And when I seen him, geez, it changed my mind. The breathing He's stuff. Yeah, I like the breathing. Even I thought the breathing was a bit of a, 
kind of myth and not very, you know, it didn't work very well, but he did it with us. And like my soul left my body, my lips went blue, my face went <laughs> white and couldn't feel my life. I thought my legs got amputated. I was like, Wim, you're a dead man. So. Breathing is our superpower. <laughs> yeah, exactly. For yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, so. Whether it's to stay warm, uh, to, to get cold, to energize yourself, to relax, mm. to love. You know, to protect Bre yeah, yeah. every in breath is your suit. If you're worried about anything in life, whether it's money or I don't know, um, the next Mongol Empire, Just you breathe. take one in breath and it, the world is a better place. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. As long as you're aware of the fact you, you know all this stuff. Mm. You've spent oh, yeah. 24 hours. With, he, he's on your latest video, isn't he? Yeah, yes. uh, made yeah, a film we, with him. We just did a little kind of mini doc, I guess, with him. Um, so he's he's good. His message is very pure, isn't yeah, it? It's, it's very... co completely pure. Yeah. Stoltmanbrothers.com for more info. Visit Stoltmanbrothers.com and they have their own YouTube channel. This book that's out, Lifting, Becoming the World's Strongest Brothers, mm -hmm. is out now. Uh, Vasus, you've been looking at the stats. Well, so the thing is, you know, you go to a gym and I, I, I go to the gym, I do some weights. It's, it's such a thrill when you go to a gym, right, and then there's someone... So the, the main thing people talk about is the, is the bench press, right, and the, the standard... And the, the deadlift is... Deadlift, deadlift, is, deadlift is... Yeah, the, there's a deadlift, right, okay. which is... But everyone goes, what can you bench? Right. I mean, if you... if you that right? Every person. What, yeah. you, what every, can you bench? What can you bench? And the sort of the sub-three marathon uh -huh. of the bench press yes. is 100 kilograms. 100 kilograms. I'm not quite there... My son thinks I should train really hard because I'm only a few kilograms away, but I'm not that bothered. But anyway, it's it's a hundred kilograms. Let's have a look at this. You're not that bothered. Sounds, so you sound like a bit bothered. <laughs> only if I'm only a few kilograms. So it only talks about it for like thirty <laughs> seconds on the radio. Bench press. Yeah. Bench press. <laughs> Two hundred and forty kilograms. What? If you see someone, if you see so the the the, the the dumbbells, which is not one bar, but that you know two dumbbells. Where they go up to 50 yeah. in the gym. It's such a thrill when you see someone in the gym, right, going, he's, he's going he's gonna to get to the 50s. He's going to the 50s. Because 250s is actually more than 100 because you've got the, the stabiliser muscles as well. So let's say it's 120. That bloke's going for the 50s. All right, let's have a look. And there's usually someone spotting him, helping him up with them. But he, he gets one rep with the 50s and he used the 50s. And there's a round of applause in the gym. The guy used the 50s. What do you guys use? We've got a set of 120 kilos. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Dinga, linga, long. Woo. Uh, what the heck? Yeah. Did you have to get those specially made? Yeah, we actually, we actually, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's yeah, not yeah. off the shelf. No, that's, no you couldn't just. It's off the chart. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not um, off the shelf. It's off the chart. That's what you should call it off the chart. Off the chart, yeah. That's three me's. I'm 80 kilograms. That's three me's. Yeah. Well then, congratulations. Yeah. You could have one me in each hand and just, I don't know, There's, yeah, but one, what, for, one a spare somewhere. I mean, how, what about the the bar? Yeah. I mean, how strong do you have to make your bars? Or is that a normal bar with that? Because look at your deadlifts. It's what, 420 kilograms. That's half a tonne, essentially. Yeah, you have to. There's, there's certain uh, specified bars that you have to get. So deadlift bars that are rated up to 1,000 kilos, for example. And Because you see the bend in the bar. You know, it's, if the bar is not bending, you're pretending. You know, whatever the same. Oh, oh, if up. the bar's not, not bending, bending, you're pretending. <laughs> Give us more of that. Come on. <laughs> so, that has happened, hasn't it, in videos on YouTube? Yeah. yeah. I don't know, we've done it before that. as well. We've been into like a commercial gym and the bar's bent and then you take the weights off and it stays bent. So you just have to put it back and pretend no one sees it. <laughs> that is hilarious. So normally, like in the higher rated bars, you know, they'll bounce back into, and they'll be straight. Yeah, yeah. That's a sign of a good bar. If we want to be stronger, all right, stronger, usefully stronger, right? What's the, what's, give us, what are the best three things we could do, Tom and Luke? What do you think? I, th I think, yeah, I mean, for me, deadlifts, um, your compound exercises are really good. You know, you're deadlifting, you're squatting, Oops. overhead press. Yes. I think moving with stuff as well. So say if you have a like a 50 kilo sandbag and you pick that up and you just run back and forth. Real and, stuff. Yeah, real stuff. You know, do you have all that at your gym? Yeah, we have, we, we, we have a gym, but then myself and Luke have a warehouse that we go to oh, to do the strongman stuff just to keep that separate. So. We've had three warehouse chats over the last yeah. like four days. I'm yeah. desperate for a warehouse. Yeah. Yeah, You've got to get a warehouse. Forget you country mansions and all that. No, the get a warehouse. That's where the fun is, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Tell us about your warehouse. Yeah, so it's Don't tell me you own it. No, we, we don't. We don't own it. Not rent, yet. That makes and it slightly better. Yeah, we, you rent it. We well, 
because it's a small community, there's a local company that let us use one of their warehouses well, to they're train. they're not going to argue, are they? Which yeah. is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You said you were going to yeah. ask yeah. We just turned up one day with all our equipment yeah. and just left yeah. it there. Okay. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, fine, do what they yeah. want. Sorry, guy. yeah, you can use whatever you want. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so, like, all our equipment's there. So we've got log presses, yokes, yokes atlas, atlas stones. stones, giant dumbbells. So we said we've got these 120 kilo dumbbells. We've also got ones that go up to 140, 140 140 kilo dumbbells with like a, a three inch diameter handle that we've got a one arm press above our head. Um, What's your message for the world? I mean, you know, because we've all got a purpose. Well, hope, hope, no, we have all got a purpose. Some just don't know it, but you don't have to know it ever. But what is your, what are you, what, how can you make the world better? I think by, I mean, I'm a huge believer of being very simple, simplistic in things, yeah. you know, what we live in today, the the society, the consumer, consumer, we're trying to buy things to make us happy. Outside in. Yes. So why not just learn to be asked, learn to be happy, see a sunrise, sit outside in the morning, watch the sunrise, go in the cold water, speak to your family, love, care about each other. You know, yeah, yeah. we we talk a lot about loving, about caring. We need to care more. We need to have our communities. You know, I think when we're in a community of support and love, that's where we can really be special. He's a big old softy, your brother, isn't he? <laughs> he is a massive softy. I mean, really big, not that old, obviously, but, you know, definitely soft. He is a softy. Yeah. He's great, isn't he? Yeah, he's good, you, by, the, by the way, do you all smile so much, you two? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty yeah. happy. That's the thing that we... <laughs> We're Great advert for, uh, for your for what you how you live your day life. You put, have a smile on your face. You know we're, we're breathing in this and we're living in this world. So you know just make us. I think one can. of the reasons we consume. So we talked about this. Tash and I talked about this yesterday. We think you know we would because this is how we live nowadays. You know confirmation bias. But we think life is all about the morning. Mm. It's just about the morning. You know, well begun is half done. Yeah, you can have fun later on. Of course, you can have fun later on. But it's all about the morning. I think the good stuff is about it happens in the morning or sort of before mid afternoon. Mm. And what you look at, you know, the way we live our lives is once it gets past three, four o'clock, especially on a Saturday and a Sunday, Friday as well, you know, that's when people start to consume. That's when the theatres are open. That's when the cinemas are open. That's when the restaurants do all the business. That's when the pubs do the business. Nothing wrong with all that, right? Nothing wrong with any of that. But that's because people have not, because all that stuff has to happen after we finish work and it's very addictive and you do get some fun and some joy out of it. We've almost, our focus, our spotlight has started to shine on sort of post 3 p.m., 4 p.m. in the afternoon, which is nothing wrong with that, apart from the fact that most of the stuff available then is con is consumer. Mm. You, consume, whether you can see it with your eyes or mm. your ears or your belly or your tongue or your teeth or whatever it is. But before all that, this when we're the the source, we are the the producer of our own joy, aren't mm. we? Mm -hmm. And the thing is, because that's the fun bit and the easy bit at the end, we sort of a lot of people have forgotten about the first bit, and then they can't understand why they can't. Because I still love all that stuff, but I'm actually genuinely satisfied anyway. And the thing is, if you just do the last bit, post three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, you don't. After a few years, you feel I don't feel satisfied, mm. and you, it loses the joy, and you. Because it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, that's my little speech. No, definitely that makes sense. I didn't, I didn't mean to make a speech. The mornings are the, the mornings are what makes the day, right? If you start your morning right, if you do do a test in the morning, that's what it is. Get up. That's why I like to go for a swim. It's like a test. Yeah. Oh, it's cold. It's minus two. Yes, it was minus two, and I was swimming in the water with a good friend of mine. Wow, this is amazing. Seeing a sunrise, amazing. And yeah. then the rest of your day. Is just perfect. It yeah. just goes well. So it's like, you know, you, when you're running a marathon, you don't train to run the marathon. You train to get to the start line, and the marathon is the celebration of mm. your training. Yes. And I think post lunchtime, every day should be the celebration of all the hard work you've done in the morning. And I think if you get it that way around, then I think life can be more enjoyable. Mm. Not necessarily, but can be more enjoyable. Mm -hmm. 100%. Saltman Brothers. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Vass and Rachel. These guys do sound massive. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they can pull my truck through this traffic jam, says Russell the trucker from Birmingham. No problem, man. Jason in Cornwall. Yes, I can confirm Tom and Luke sound strong. Mm. <laughs> they sound like they chew rocks for breakfast. <laughs> so you, Lorraine in Stanford. Yep, they do sound strong, but they also sound like gentle giants. Smiling gentle giants. Stop my brothers. Boy, do they sound strong, says Chris from Norfolk. 
Um, more text. Chris, the Strong Brothers are so strong. They actually sound like giants. I like it. it says Emily in Stratford or Panaven. I like it, exclamation mark. I think Emily might like it a bit too mm. much. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying, boys? Emily, sorry, we're both married. Mm. Derek in Glasgow, uh, you have to have the Highland Games at Carfest, guys. No, I'd love to. What are the dis different disciplines in the Highland Games? There's uh, a table, caber, caber wait hammer, for a height, wait hammer, for height. Um, uh, wait for height. What else do they do? Shot pat, the stone throw, natural stone throw, yeah. um, different weights. Um, so, I think that's it. Sometimes they, they do the, the hay bale over the bar, you know, the fork. Yeah, I love all that stuff. Um, I forget. The, I love it when it gets real. That's why we love the world's strongest yeah, man because yeah. it looks real, mm. doesn't it? You either lift it or you don't. That's, that's the beauty of it. There's no. There's no judgment, you know. Yeah. Either it's very pure again. It's strength. It's Did you watch the the hundred on Netflix? Did you see that? Program? Yeah. Were you, are you tempted to get involved in that? How would you do in that? Do you think? Because it's stamina and it's strength stamina, and speed yeah, as yeah. well. Because there was a couple of strong men there as well that didn't do so well. Just because they got the wrong events, yeah. that was all. It was the it? hanging one, you know, when they had the hanging yeah, yeah, bars. Yeah. That's that's tough. Um, so I don't know. I, I'd back myself, but. I, I, I'll be honest, I wouldn't do good at all. Like, geez, uh, You're just being honest about it. Five metres, I would have been on the ground wanting food or something. How but, does it feel to be so strong? What is it like to walk around strong? Because I'm a lot fitter than I used to be, thanks to this man here on my left side, Vassos. And it feels great. Mm. It feel, I feel wonderful. I really do. How, how does it feel like to be I mean, strong? It, oh, yeah, it feels good. I mean, it feels like, you know... If, you ever get into a situation, you know you're going to get out of it. And I think. <laughs> hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I, I hang on a minute, stamina. hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pause, right? If you ever get into. Who, who is stupid enough to get into a situation with you two? I, I mean, more like, you know, if your car breaks down, you don't have to worry. All right, I thought you meant with the No, 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 no. You could right. like, you know, any, anything like that. It's I just drive around if I break down, that's all right. I'll just pick my car up and get you pick your car up. That's nah, so I love funny, being strong. It's, I'll it's pick you up. <laughs> yeah. I'll pick you up at five. Mm. Just uh, yeah. half an hour for picking my car yes. up. The Tom Stockman Uber. Yeah. Uh, Dean the trucker says, by the way, he's, this is all going so well. Dean's about to ruin it for oh. all of us. He's about to rain on our collective parade. Oh. Good morning to my favourite show in the world. Good morning, Dean. Thanks for that. I've just moved into a warehouse to actually live in. I've got to tell you, it's awesome. It's massive. It's industrial. It's raw. But it's magnificent. Oh! <laughs> I so want to live in a warehouse. Warehouses are it, man. Can't get one for love yeah. and money, you know. Millions of houses of sale. You try and find a warehouse. You can rent. Or you can rent them all day long, but nobody's selling a warehouse. Mm -hmm. They all know the. Of course they do. The, the benefit they of, know the secret secret of it. Yeah. A barn. I don't want, I'd do a barn. Mm. Would you got a barn? Got a spare barn up in Invergordon? There's there's a lot of farmland. Yeah, there's a lot of barns mm. there. Yeah. Um, See, in America, in Los Angeles especially, they have these gyms now. The most popular gyms are sort of real life gyms where they they don't sort of have multi gyms. They have some bars and some barbells and some. Um, kettle bells and all that stuff but they have a lot of sacks and a lot of tires mm. do you think that's coming here or is that already here um so i think it's coming here more and more now there's a you know we go to a lot of gyms now that have the you know the tires the sledgehammers the yeah yeah the kettlebells all the kind of stones it's and that fun, now. So, isn't it? it's like yeah, playing it's, as well i think yes and like you said like strom on the last few years has blown up and every every gym now has a piece of strongman equipment that yeah because people love to do it it's not you know crossfits you got strongman stuff in it highland games even bodybuilders like to do it everyone just likes to do it because it's fun you know it's it's still it's not us is it i mean i know that we are very much part of that tribe now and we invite guys like you because we just want to talk about it and get enthused about it is it us or do you think it's there's more fitness around than ever before i think it's the social media isn't it i think that that kind of right. paints a picture of a healthy life or a, a fit lifestyle this yeah, is what yeah, you yeah. need to you, know, you have all the you know, the guys with their ripped stomachs, the abs, muscles and everything else. But I think it genuinely, it helps because being healthy, being fit, you'll have a longer life, happier life. And it's cheaper. Life is cheaper. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't consume as much. Because you feel great. You don't You don't need to buy something to help you feel great, which won't in the end anyway. Because yeah. you feel great, you wake up feeling great. Get out for a run, for a walk, lift some sandbags, flip some tyres, get that hit of dopamine for the day, and that's you set up for the rest of the day. Here. Yeah, you lost me at sandbags, to be honest. But... <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, lots of messages on this show. Um, the hard way is hard, but the easy way is harder in the end. Mm -hmm. You know, cutting corners. Um, the way round is through. The obstacle is the way. Everything that's good for you is on the other side of hard. Would you agree with all that kind of stuff? Yeah, 100%. A million percent. Anything to add to that? 
Um, no, I think that's pretty good. I, I, and I think I, I keep going back to but the simple things, you know. Yeah. It's it's it doesn't need to be so complicated. I think we as a as just as humans, I think our brains are really like yeah. overwhelmed. Our brains sometimes. are brilliant, but you know, we we should we forget that we can turn them on. Mm, yeah, definitely. And if you if you forget for long enough, then you can't anymore. So mm. it's great to meet you, but I was mm. so excited when um, when they said, "Do you want the world's strongest brothers?" I went, "Yeah." <laughs> Do you want to know what they what they're on about? No, don't care. Just get them in. <laughs> Amazing. If you can fit them in through the door, uh, it'd be great. So the book's out. The yeah? Book's out, yeah. The book's out. Uh, the gym is open. Yeah. Uh, the YouTube channel is online. Um, can you just give us the URL again, Vass? I've lost my sheet. Here we go, here we go. It is stoltmanbrothers.com. All right, gentlemen, nice great to see you. Thanks for having me. Thanks so much for coming in. Of course.